all right guys welcome back to the channel first and foremost happy new year it is the start of the new year 2024 and i hope you guys are as excited about it as i am because it is the start of my official tournament season um 2024 i did do some tournaments here and there inside 2023 towards the end but i would say that 2024 is my official start of my tournament season and what better way to start it than on a new vessel check this guy out guys so i treated myself a little bit over the uh over the christmas holidays and i got myself a new vessel now i did get the second hand off a gentleman named wade and basically it was fully rigged out everything's already done to it um it has you know the xi3 with the spot lock it's fully rigged out everything's already wired in and basically we're just going to go through a uh, short kind of preview about how everything is currently set up as of right now i'm leaving everything as is i'm not really doing anything well first and foremost i'm not doing anything to it because it was professionally done by the master rigger carry down at kayak fishing supplies and oex wade and shane they are actually um brother-in-laws so shane down there at kayak fishing supplies and oex big shout out to you as well as carry the master rigger for basically rigging this guy out and um wade giving me the opportunity to purchase it off of you and to actually be able to enjoy it as it is right now so without further ado guys let's go ahead and take a look at everything guys so starting from the stern we're gonna work our way back over to the bow so obviously up front we have our motor guide xi3 um, this also has the quick release system that uh, Kerry had rigged onto the stern of the actual boat itself and he did a very very good job at wiring this whole entire thing so the power supply is actually right here set up with Anderson plugs so this is the one that goes over to the actual motor itself and this one is actually ran throughout the whole entire hull all the way to the back where the battery is and um, he also rigged it to where I can actually deploy this as I'm in the seated position. So the master rigger himself he actually rigged a system a pulley system right here that attaches to the actual release of the motor ran it all the way over to here where all I have to do is uh, pull this guy it'll pull down the actual release of the motor and then from there I will use this guy here to kind of guide it and set it down um, into position to where it's at so matter of fact let me actually get the net and everything out of the way so that we can take a look at everything here. So just gotta clip this guy on here. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold this cable here and basically deploy the actual motor itself. Now obviously I don't wanna do that right now because it is on the ground, but I'm just going to slowly ease it down so that we could get to the next part, which is the gear pod. Now, this is a new canoe gear pod going into the front hatch here. Plenty of storage here. I actually have two batteries, 
one of them being a 30 amp hour amped outdoors battery and then another one being a 10 amp hour that runs the fish finder now again the master rigger carry at down at oex and kayak fishing supplies he rigged this so that the power supply for the actual fish finder itself gets ran into the gear pod and that way it has a nice tight seal waterproof seal all right so one of my favorite things i didn't actually didn't have a front hatch inside my other kayak so having a, a space to put like extra gear um i have my medic and tool kit here as well as some miscellaneous stuff my two batteries the 30 amp power i was actually planning on using for when i do run out of a uh, run out of juice on the main motor which is a 100 amp hour um this will come out to be like the very very last resort where i need to get to where i need to go um so obviously all of my sun protection and stuff like that in here i'm gonna go ahead and close this guy up and as you can see we have a new fish finder now this one is the nine inch version of the same one that i had previously the one that i had previously was the uh, garmin echo map uhd 73 i believe it was and this is the 93 or 94 i forgot the actual um, nomenclature of it but this is the nine inch version of it so that right now transducer is currently wired up all the little extra bundle is set inside here for now um but there is a transducer kit underneath the hull so if we were to go under you can actually see the transducer right there and essentially that um, makes it really clean it keeps the transducer right underneath me I believe that it kind of makes it a little bit more accurate, kind of gets it out of the way, makes it a little bit more seamless. Um, as you can see, this is a fully tracked system, tracks everywhere. Um, if you guys didn't already notice, this is a new canoe unlimited. Uh, this is a 12 foot, six inch kayak and uh, weighs 85 pounds. It is 41 inches wide, so about six inches wider than the previous kayak that I had and two and a, two and a half feet longer so definitely expect it to be a little bit more stable um well a lot more stable but at the same time it only weighs 10 pounds more than my previous one which is insane um so i did a little bit of things myself uh paddle holder um i am a creature of habit so that is going to be where the net is going to go and obviously my catchboard holder that is consistent of just two little paddle holders there uh, we have a rail blazer cubby right here as well as one right here this is where i'm gonna have my line snippers pliers and my fish hook remover and basically anywhere anything else that i want to store inside here whether that be lures or my phone whatever the case may be as you guys can see this deck is fully fitted with the eva foam this is, um, I think out of the factory, it comes halfway actually foamed up, but um, they had it fully actually fitted out with the whole entire deck kit. So that is great. No more slipping and sliding inside, uh, inside my kayak now. From here, we're actually gonna go up to the seat. Now this is gonna be one of my most favorite features within this whole entire kayak. Reason being, is not only is it comfortable and it sits a lot higher, but this thing swivels 360 degrees, which is a huge, huge, huge advantage, um, especially when I need to fish in um, on one side or the other, or if I need to actually sit down and grab something from the black box, obviously all my tackle and stuff right here, but one of my most favorite features of this whole entire kayak is the swivel seat. Extremely comfortable, sits very high, it's very sturdy, and that swivel is just, I, I can't explain it. It's, it's a game changer for sure. Um, moving back a little bit further, we have the boondocks landing gear. So no longer have to carry around a kayak cart or anything like that. I could just simply pull these out, um, kind of tilt them, and then they will actually lay in there so i don't have to go back up to my car 
and put away a kayak cart or anything like that everything kind of stays within the boat itself now moving back we have a new to me at least new black pack this is the yak attack black pack i think i believe this is the first generation of it but previously i had six rod holders now we have upgraded to eight which may be a problem because now i have one spot that i need to fill and that just means that i'm gonna buy something else so yeah smells of hobbies but moving back further this is going to be the last portion of it here is going to be the battery compartment now the battery um, as I said previously, this is a 100 amp hour amped outdoors battery and Kerry rigged it up so that the power supply from the trolling motor is from the front all the way back here. So all I have to do is just plug in these Anderson power cables and then I'm good to go. But yeah guys, so that is really a quick down and dirty rundown of the new vessel that we're going to be using um, from now moving forward super excited about this whole entire thing having a motor itself having spot lock having a bigger more stable kayak um, definitely going to be something that i look forward to in the future so all right guys that's really going to be it for the actual rundown of the new vessel again big shout out to wade big shout out to shane big shout out to carry for taking care of this kayak and giving me the opportunity to be able to use this um, on the water as well as during these fishing tournaments so if you guys need any kind of work done to your kayaks whether that be custom or if you guys want to buy a kayak anything that's kind of water related go ahead and check out oex down in san diego um, as well as kayak fishing supplies they're going to be the ones to take care of you guys i mean this thing is fully rigged out I'm not doing anything to this. If I do anything to this kayak, it would be an injustice, to be honest. But um, all right, guys, that's really going to be it. Hope you guys are ready for the 2024 fishing tournament series, um, season, I should say. As always, guys, I thank you guys for liking, subscribing, joining me for my adventures on the water, and I'll see you guys on the next one.